Hey guys, today's video is going to be on this old uh, 11 horsepower braking strat. And this is an 87 model. So it don't have points and condenser. It has the electronic ignition in it. You can see it's missing the starter. I got the air breather and everything for the carburetor. It's just off of it. And it's missing the uh, lower half of the carburetor. You can see it's missing the bowl and the float. And uh, which is no big deal. I can take one off another carburetor just to see if that carburetor is any good. It's got a good muffler on it too. Yeah, I only gave like 20 bucks for it, you know, mainly for parts at the time. Bought it last summer and never got a chance to see if it would actually run. It's got low compression and barely any oil in it, so I figure it's a smoker. Probably needs rebuilt, and this would be the type that don't have a cast iron sleeve in it. I'm going to get it mounted on my test frame here, and I'll uh, pull the carburetor off, and we'll look at the carburetor on the bench. You just got two uh, bolts here, then your uh, throttle linkage hooks in here, and you can see that spring's broke, they always break. And the choke's built in on the on it. Okay guys, this is the carburetor off of it, you see it's still got that choke on there. And I found another bowl and some other parts I need for it. Took a couple of them out of my red test carburetor. You see here, I got a little part right now. So I'm going to try to get this jet out, it may or may not come out. It ain't going to. So I'm just going to clean it with it in there. The best thing you can do is just shoot carburetor cleaner through it. I'm just going to clean up all this surface dirt on here and put it together and see what it's going to do. So let me spray this off and we'll get back and put it together real quick. You got to make sure all these little tiny holes are clean in that. If they're not, it usually won't run. This adjustment and the one on the bottom, screw it in until it bottoms out. Just snug it, back it out two whole turns. It usually gets it running, at least a little bit. Goes in here like this. I need to water some of them. I don't have about the only one I had left. And you see how your float needle valve is? Get the little hook right there that holds the needle valve on there. This is the type of the rubber tip on it. Put the pin back in. Now at this point, hook you a piece of fuel line on this and blow through it. And right now you shouldn't be able to blow through it. When you pick up on this, you should be able to, then it will stop like that. And you know your float's working. If not, you have to adjust it. And this float actually should be adjusted on this. You see it leaning towards it. But since it's sealing, I'm not going to because this is set up for that other carburetor. I don't want to mess it up for it. So for right now, I'm just going to leave it alone. It should be all right. And you make sure your bowl is clean. In this case, it's a new one, so we know it is. Then uh, put this one there. Back your adjustment screw out a little bit. Or take it out completely if you want. You're supposed to have this washer on here. Act like a gasket. You can use an O-ring. I have before. It don't work the best. But it does work. And you just want to get that pretty snug, like that, and run your adjustment screw in. You'll feel it just barely bottom out. Right there, and back to add another two turns just like the other screw. And now, with that set up like that, it should at least try to run where you can adjust the other screws to get it going. So let me go ahead and get this bolted back on the carburetor and just the two bolts and your linkage. And we'll hook a starter on it and see what it does. Okay guys, I got a starter bolted up on there and got the plug out. So I'm going to do a test crank and check for spark at the same time. And it cranks and sparks. So let me get some oil in it and uh, we'll get ready to try to fire it up. See what it does.
Okay, I got my old red carburetor on it this time. We're going to see what it does. Well guys, it runs. It seems like it's got a little bit of a rod knock though. But uh, other than that, it seems to be running pretty good. It'd be a, looks like a good engine to tear down and rebuild sometime. But on this carburetor it came off of it, and I found another problem too. The uh, bushing gone in the throttle shaft there. That's another reason I couldn't get it to run. It was pulling air and then I was trying to adjust the mixture and just couldn't get it. You can see it real good right there, even on that side. So this carburetor is going to have to have a new bushing and a new shaft put in it and uh, have to get everything else for it like I had on it from that other carburetor but uh, just needs a little bit of work well guys thanks for watching if you got any questions or comments leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can so thanks for watching